Hey guys, it's Hope, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm doing another bullet journal with me, this time for the month of October. I think this is my fourth bullet journal with me that I've done, and I really enjoy making these, so I'm just gonna keep doing more of them. But for October, I did kind of a flower, flower pot theme that was inspired by some stickers that I got sent from Crestfire. I have a discount code for them in the description if you wanna check them out and if you wanna get the same stickers that I did. I also have the specific sticker set that I got linked down below, but I think it turned out really cute. I had a lot of fun using the stickers to kind of have to do less drawing while still having it look really cute. Although I did do some drawing of my own. And I tried to do some like oranges and yellows to make it a little more fall themed. Although I also added some purples that kind of go with the flowers. But I think it turned out really cute. It was more of a simple theme for me, but it still took time obviously. And, and it doesn't look like crazy basic. So I really like it and I hope you guys do too. Before we get started, here are today's shout outs. Stay until the end of the video to find out how you can get a shout out. Let's just get into it. Before I actually started journaling, I wanted to go ahead and light my pumpkin vanilla cream candle to go ahead and make my journaling space a little more fall themed and a little cozier. So I started off by doing that. I always start these videos off by showing you my supplies. So obviously I have a pencil to sketch things out as well as my Papermate black felt tip pen. I also am gonna be using some mild liners. So I have a yellow, orange, purple, green, and then some other shades of orange and yellow. I also have some washi tape. This is from AliExpress. And this washi tape is also from there. And then I also have some white out and I also grabbed an eraser, but I didn't show it. And then I got this really cute pack of stickers from Craftsfire. It came in a larger pack of some other stickers. So I went ahead and opened it for you all. And it had tons of these really cute stickers of flowers and flower pots, which is what I based this theme off of. I will link this in the description below as well as my coupon code for you guys. As always, I started with my cover spread for the month. I didn't really have a plan for it going into it. I just kind of did whatever came to me. So I started off by writing October in this little typewriter font. And then I wrote the, all of the, the days of the month under that. I went ahead and decided to outline that with washi tape. And then after I'd done that, I realized that it looked kind of like the flower pots on the stickers. So I went ahead and drew some flowers around that and some leaves. And then I also drew some other flowers to the sides. I don't love the flowers that I drew to the sides. I probably would have done something differently if I had planned it out, but they still look cute, so they were fine. And then I also went ahead and added some of these stickers that I got. Next, I did my Bible verse spread, which I do every month, but this time I decided to make it pretty basic. I didn't do anything crazy with the lettering, but I did Psalm 107.1, which is give thanks to the Lord for he is good. And I pretty much just wrote some of the words in that black typewriter lettering. And then I wrote thanks Lord and good in my mild liners with some calligraphy and just some nicer lettering. And then I also wrote Psalm 107.1 in the little font and then I added some stickers. Next, I did my month at a glance spread, which took me a little bit to figure out how to space it out because normally there are five lines for the weeks of the month, but in October there are six just because of the way the dates and days of the week work out. So I had to space it out a little bit differently. Normally I would do five by five boxes, but this time I had to do four by five. Anyways, once I figured out how I would space it all out, I just outlined it in black and then I headed the top with my mild liners and I also messed up so I had to make a little adjustment there. But once I had done all of that, I wrote um, the initials for all the days of the week at the top and then I wrote the days of each month and then I went ahead and wrote out October on the top just in that typewriter font again and I also added some washi tape and some of those stickers again. Next, I did my gratitude log, and I just cut this one really basic. I think I like to keep this one more on the simpler side, but what I did, I just wrote gratitude log at the top, again, in that typewriter font, and then I added a border with my mild liners. I did it in orange, and then I just wrote out the days of the month, and then that is where I will write what I'm grateful for, and then I also added some more um, flower pot stickers. 
Next, I did my mood tracker, and I'm so sorry that part of it is cut off. I did not realize that it wasn't fully in the frame, but when I do the final flip through, you can see the entire thing. But basically, what I did for this one, I think it turned out so cute. I drew out a little flower pot, and in the flower pot, I wrote mood tracker, and then I also wrote down what each color is going to represent. Then after I had done that, I drew some flowers and leaves, and I wrote the dates of the month next to them and then I actually left them empty and then each day that corresponds to the number I'm going to color in how I felt that day and I also added some washi tape again. My habit tracker page might be my favorite one of this monthly spread. I kept up with the flower pot theme and I'm actually using the flower pots to write down the habits and then if I completed them so I'm just going to add a little black dot every time I complete the habit that day. But I only did six this month, just because that's how the spacing works, and there were only six that I wanted to do. But I drew out six flower pots, and colored them in with the orange, and added the flowers. And then once I had done that, I wrote the habits that I was going to be completing at the top. And the habits that I chose were take my medicines, do my devotional, stretch, wear my rubber bands, do my Duolingo lessons, and read. Then finally at the top, I wrote habits with my yellow mild liner and I outlined it in my black felt tip pen. And I also added some grid washi tape on the sides. I did my activity tracker pretty much the exact same way I did my gratitude log. I wrote out the dates on the sides and then wrote activity tracker at the top and added a purple border and added some stickers. And then next to each day, I'll just write out what workout or run I went on that day. I finally did my running pain tracker, which is pretty much just to stay on top of running injuries. And I set this one up the same way I did last month, where I wrote the dates to one side. Then I wrote a section where I can say if it's my right or left leg. Then a section where I can rate the pain on a scale of 1 to 10. And then finally a section where I could write the details. And then also at the top, I color coded it. So my heel, I will do in purple. My ankle, I will do in orange. My knee, I will do in yellow. And my, and anything else, I will do in green. And then I also wrote running pain tracker at the top. Here's the final flip through. I'm really happy with how this one turned out and I really hope you'll like it as much as I do. Okay, that is the end of the video. I really hope you guys liked how this one turned out. If you don't end up deciding to recreate it, let me know that you did that in the comments. And I would love to see pictures of that, so if you can send it to me on something like Pinterest or something, I would really love to see that because I think that would be really cool if someone else recreated it. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, and if you want to see more videos like it, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss a video. For a chance to get a shout out to this video with one or more of your friends, let me know that you've done that in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!